Hello everyone and welcome to Morkefish channel. In today's video I'm going to talk about the stick and nunchucks. I think this topic is really stupid because it's the same like you would like to ask what is better arms or legs and boxer is going to say that arms are better because you're using them every day it's easier to master and they are quicker and more precise and if you ask kickboxer or taekwondo people they will say that kicking is better because legs are longer and using bigger muscles so you can kick harder hit harder maybe you can finish fight faster you know it's no answer for this it's the same for this it's no answer for this this is good and this is good but you know they have a different purpose and i know some people say that you have to use a lot of time to master nunchucks but i don't think so because you know no one said that you have to do this fancy Bruce Lee stuff, you know? You can just slam, slam. The same with the stick. You can also do fancy stuff with the stick, but you don't have to. You can just hit somebody with the stick. You don't have to spin with your stick at all. Now I'm going to try to take both of these weapons and just try different things with Gunther. So let's start with the stick. Let's see what is good about it. The good thing is that you have this really long reach that if you want to fight you can fight but if you want to just keep the distance you can still keep a distance and probably something what you cannot do with, with the nunchak is the stabbing with this one bam bam you can stab him and of course i think stick is really easy to master but you can just pick up the stick and you already know some moves you know you know how to hit it. <laughs> the problem is what I see about the stick is that people who are using the sticks they think that this is a sword that they can use all stick and going to be really powerful and painful when you hit them. But the truth is that only the ending here is the most powerful part of your stick. So here, bam. not here, you can hear it, or here, it's different. And of course you're going to feel that too, but this is the most powerful part of your weapon. So you should always keep the distance to use full potential of this weapon. So, you know, if this guy is going to run, to me then I have only one powerful shot on his face or somewhere and later I'm going to hit him with the weaker ones another problem what I can see about the stick that when we are in this in this distance you no know, is I am kind of on the way of the stick also I have to only go like this go low and still I cannot use full potential of the weapon because here I can actually use the same with my arm you know when we are here I can use the second part of the stick as a kind of knife I could also use the stick to, for some holds if I am good grappler then probably I would do that I would try go here then I create some kind of frame I could press with my shoulder, I could go to some kind of throw, something like this. But if I'm not a good glapper, then I would just go, you know, from the distance. Here, what I can see the problem also, that when you are clinching, because probably you're going to clinch, then here I cannot use my stick so much, only the this part, but not, not really this one, because here, I using only this part and actually I could do exactly the same thing, the same, the same damage with my hand, you know. That here I can use only this thing and here. Another problem what I can see with the stick is that you might be easier disarmed with this because if for example he catch the stick and he just move this direction down, it's creating like really strong lever and I'm going to let my stick. I cannot keep it. With nunchucks I think going to be a little bit easier in this scenario because 
the stick is shorter here I think in this scenario I would just let my stick and he would take it no one said that yet that if you hit something hard with the stick you're going to feel it on your hand and it's going to be not like this he said that board don't hit back because this stick going to hit you back if you hit something hard I think with the nunchucks it's going to be different because energy going to stay on the first stick it will not go to the second stick which you're holding so the good things is that you have a reach you don't have to train a lot to know what to do with it and you can get powerful punches okay so now I have a nunchucks and I'm not an expert with this I never try to hit anything with this I you know I try to you know like everyone tried nunchucks before because you know everyone wanna be a Bruce Lee you know so I know some kind of tricks but I never was good with it because I am not a big fan of nunchucks actually but let's try it so people saying that if you hit something hard this will bounce back to you and hit you back let's try it <laughs> so didn't hit me back let's try again I go harder maybe other way also nothing so as you can see this will not hit you back and probably if this will bounce and hit you back probably he will feel more than you because he going to get the first strike and if you get something it's going to be something like this probably so I don't think it's that scary I figure out that if you always go all the way all the way that you keep your arm close to your body then you will not feel it but when you go further like this and you hit with the end then you will feel it but you have to just know the one rule that you just have to go all the way boom then you will not hurt yourself okay so let's go from the same list what I do about the stick the reach is probably is shorter than with the stick but you can keep a distance with the nunchuck you know and actually I don't know why people always thinking that if I have a nunchuck I'm going to do this all tricky stuff you know this fancy swinging around thing if I have to use nunchucks and I am not an expert so probably masters who can use that going to do this better than me but yeah if I'm going to use this in the fight then I will just hold it like this and slam and slam you know I will not do this you know before I start I finish my swinging he will get me and put me on the ground and you know finish me so I have to be smart you know so I will just wait he take his arm closer slam and break a finger he will come closer to me slam and hit him in the face so when we're talking about the close distance I think this would work a little bit better than stick because here I can stop this way this way this way this way or even just make it like a kind of <laughs> slap you know in this situation if we're clinching with the stick was the problem that I'm using only this part but here I can still go here I can still hit him and even like before with the stick I could go, go like this I can also do this with the nunchucks you know or here I could go for the choke I know that people don't believe the choke like this I can tell you that, that they are real because when I train judo and I am beginner I am orange belt in judo and I can strangle people with my sleeves so I think I could strangle people with this even 
if you grab like this, I don't know, just go like this, probably, probably this thing would be not comfortable. Because this is going to work like, you know, nuts cracker, you know. You don't use power, but the nuts going to break. It's going to look the same. But still, I think this is more useful in the in the close range. Of course, you have to look out to not do like this, but you have to be aware what you are doing. So yeah, the good things about Nunchako, I think, is the size, because you can carry this in your pocket, and you know if this guy is going to look for the problems, I would just say, hey, I don't want to have the problems. And just slam, you know. He will not be ready for that. Somebody who knows how to use it probably would kill this guy, and this guy would not know what's happened. <laughs> and all these flexible weapons, they are crazy. <laughs> they are just crazy. Some time ago, I have sparred with my friend who used a fly, Morgenstern, and I was thinking that I going to have a much easier because I had shield and sword. And he had only, you know, the stick with the ball in the end of the string like this. And I had to die maybe 10 times before I figure out how to protect myself. And I think in these times when they use nunchucks, they could not die 10 times. I think if they die, they just die. So <laughs> I think these all flexible weapons are really crazy and powerful. I also thinking that if I have a stick in my hand, then I would think only about the stick that if I have to fight somebody I would only think about the stick nothing about the rest of my body I would try to you know, use all what I got just because of the stick but with nunchucks I think I will use something extra like kicks, punches or something I think most people who can use nunchucks are going to know some kind of martial arts so they probably know how to use their body in the fight and with the stick I would just think about the stick you know and probably I would not use this as a baseball bat but you know more like a sword because I can get better distance and here if I do like this the same but with two hands my posture is going to be really bad but here I can still control everything, you know. I would like to train a little bit with Gunther, so let's go. The funny part is that I was never a big fan of moonchucks, but now when I try them, actually I feel they are pretty cool. Okay, summarizing. I have a stick, I have a nunchuck. And I don't know what is better, because I see a lot of good things about the stick, I see a lot of good things about nunchucks. I see a few bad things about the stick, I see a few bad things about the nunchucks. So, still I don't know what is better. And I think it's not possible to say what is better because everything is dependent on the fighter. Not because this is just a tool. This is not a, anything what makes you win. You have to just train with something to know what is better for you. You have to find your own weapon. I cannot tell you what is better. So thank you for watching. See you next time.